I'm Ras Nades. I'm from Brundus, like Trilla Jermaine. You might know my face on a music game, but right now I've jumped in a podcast game. Keeping it real, that's the aim. With no rumors, no hearsay, just real life guests. Vibes in the way, and all of the hot topics in the U. This hey. is the reasoning. Come have a reason. This is the reasoning. Let's have a reason. This is the reasoning. Come have a reason. This is the reasoning. Let's have a Greetings, people. Then right now you're locked into the Reasoning Podcast. I am your host, Ras Nado. You see, today, I got a very, very special guest today, you know. Yeah. He's been a pioneer in, in UK dancehall music, worldwide dancehall music, but in UK dancehall music for years. You know what I mean? Uh, he's, 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 he's out bring to you, especially the city of Birmingham, the UK, a lot internationally on the scene as a UK DJ and dancer. He's travelled the world. He's, 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 he's run restaurants. He's done, he's done so many things. You know what I mean? Um, tragically, he's been, in a, he's been in a wheelchair for the last four years. You know what I mean? And he's, 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 he's walking again. You know what I mean? This is what this, this, what this man does. You know what I mean? So... Without further ado, Ricky True English, the boss. Everything bless. Nado, you don't know, it's be a love and respect, my brother. Glad to be here, Dan. Come on, man. You see me? The Reasoning Podcast. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I look how long I to be here, but I'm here now. Yeah. That's the thing there. Big yeah. up to everybody. Big up to everybody that's tuned in. Yeah, man. <coughs> so, you see when I do my thing here, Ricky? Yeah. It's a bit cliche, but I do like to start from the beginning. You get me? I you like to that for a reason. You get yeah. me? For people who may not know. Also, people who should know. But yeah. if people who may not know. Yeah, definitely. We start from the beginning. So, we start with just the basics. Like, where did you grow up and that? Where you're from? Where did you grow yeah. up and that? You, uh, you, your parents and that? What heritage? And, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, we can start from there. All right. So, so, here we are going now. I'm originally, originally born on City Road. That's where I was born. Mm-hmm. Bitter Creek. Bitter Creek. That's yeah. where my mum had me. Yes, yeah, where I'm from. Then, still. then, um, little one and twos happened mm. when I was about six months old, mm. and um, I went into care. Okay. So yeah. I went into I went in, I ended up in social services. Yeah, man, they know the thing goes. Yeah, I was. I've been in social services since I was six months old. I was in social services from six months old. See, I wouldn't knew that up until I was sixteen. Okay. Yeah. So my mum and my dad never brought me up. My mum and dad. My mum. My mum and my dad. Never grew me because my mom and my dad never knew me till back until I was about thirteen or fourteen. That's when I met my mom and my dad when I was about okay. them ages. Um, yeah, growing up in all these homes in Birmingham, Aramby House, Hampstead Road. I've grown up so many places. So, so how did you? How did you? I didn't know this. You know, as long as I know it. So, how did you find that as a little juvie coming up, as a little you coming up? You know what I mean? Because obviously, you know when you're you and that, you, you, know, you want your parents and it naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen everybody having birthdays and Christmases and all these things, but mm. I always knew that the people that I was growing with at that time, because I got a step family at that time for a, can, yeah. a good amount of years, yeah. um, the Nesbits in Sheldon, mm-hmm. and then um, I grew up from there. So everything now become, that was my headquarters, Sheldon. So I started to catch the 17 boss, the 15 for everybody that knows the ninety nine from Chelmsley Wood to from Pool Way to into town because everything I had to head into town. Look at them ways they were racist back it, then. It, days, it, days, it was very racist, wow. bro. I've got run down so many times yeah. as a juvenile. Yeah. Like I says, I'm forty seven, bro. Uh-huh. So you can imagine, like being ten in them areas mm-hmm. thirty seven years ago, mm-hmm. it was it was bad. But um, we outgrow all them something there now. Mm-hmm. Like I says, I was in social service till I was 16. Um, I left my stepmom's house when I was about 14, 15 and done the sh- went into the streets myself. Okay. Furthermore, rebelled because I knew that they weren't my parents and I'm not saying nobody never told me, but it was a shock at the time. Yeah. And then to see a raster man at the bottom of my stairs yeah. saying, yo, me, are your father? That just threw off Shock, every, yeah. That just threw off everything yeah, again. Youth as well, so. I was about 15, 15, 14, 15. Yeah, you, man. Yeah, when, 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 my, when my dad come and said, yo, my dad's locks was long, long, long. And this black man's at the bottom of the stairs. I didn't expect to see him. They're saying, yo, me and your father. And I'm saying, okay. God. You get what I'm saying, Jack? Yeah. Them things, I'm not, I, I didn't know what these was going to happen. Yeah. So boom, after that, I rebelled, ran away from that house. 
And then if I'm a run away from that house, even though I'm good with that whole family, the Nesbitt family in Sheldon, um, I'm good with the whole of that family. Um, I just I just stayed on the road and done me. From then, I, yeah. I've been in the streets from I was 14. Yeah. So, when was the first time, yeah, you, you developed a, a love for music? At what age? The, the runaway star scenario, because at, at between 10, 11 and 12, you need something to um, to lean on. So then I found reggae music yeah. and I was in between the running aways all the time. I was always running away. So what, kind of, what kind of rhythms was you listening to them time there? Um, them to a sick rhythm and them rhythms there yeah. because, do you get what I'm saying? To yeah. I kind of boss the same time when Killer them boss I yeah. killed them bus like 92. Yeah, 93. Yeah. yeah I, went, I was in Jamaica and I was a youth, but I was yeah, over there. Yeah, I, remember, youth, yeah. I remember seeing it was a little youth. My yeah, mum going to the dance. Killer was like, Killer bus was now like 92, them time. Yeah, then, like, yeah. I was listening to music hard, them time. But then I'm from Sheldon as well, bro. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. The battering going everywhere. I'm everywhere, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm over Boz a Leaf. I'm yeah. over Handsworth. Yeah. Because everybody that's watching this, they can say, Rick's from Sheldon. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah, yeah. They're going to say, nah, Rick's from Balls of Leaves. Bro, man will say you're from Balls of Leaves. They're going to say you're from Anzum. They're going to say, say, say Rick's from Meat Chews. Because they used to call me Ricky Chew Neat. They used to call me Ricky Chew Neat Chews. That's what I thought you were talking about recently. No, no, no. They used to call me Ricky Chew Neat Chews as well. But I was everywhere, bro. And it's like, um, mm. that that was me just battering back and forth. And that's what I think called fighting the demons, bro. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So I fighted the demons got in the streets, got into the music. I just started to listen to Bam Bam Rhythm. Um, started to get involved with listening to Don Penn. No, no, no. Yeah, all them kind of big rhythms there. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I knew songs, bro. I, I knew songs. That was the best thing about it is your Ed Robinson's and not, not knocking on heaven's door. Yeah. Them songs them don't big play no way. Them was songs, you know, like, when mum was playing songs on a Sunday. Come on, man, you smell the rice and peas dad, wakes you up. And, smell and the all rice and peas wakes you up. Definitely. Just wakes you up. Imagine your belly just up now. Definitely. You go downstairs, there's all that the breakfast there waiting think, for you. I think on the I side about, of the stove. I think I ran away on, and I was I was on about I was on new sensation sound when I was like fifteen going on sixteen. Yeah, car. Wait then, yeah. before you go any further. Yeah. That's my next question. Yeah. All right, cool. So you developed your music for lo- for your, your love for music here. Yeah. While you was on the run and you're moving and you're doing your thing, you're going from home to home and that cool. So I was gonna say to you, yeah, how did you get involved in dance or music now? Because, all right, then I've gone to Borzalif. I caught the thirty five. Gone to Borzalif. There used to be a thing down there called Bush. A man down there used to call keep a, 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 a like a shubin called Bushes. I used to go there and I used to watch a, a big man there called Wayne Irie. And I used to beg this man, say, yo, give me a boss. Mm. Give me a boss. And he's like, the man, he, he was he, he was willing to give me the boss, you know, but he wanted to see what I was on first. So every night I'd travel down there on boss. If I couldn't get boss, I'd walk. Mm. Imagine walking from Sheldon to Borsalief, mm, if anybody knows mad. them things. That's and that's just to play music. <laughs> You get what I'm that's saying, Tom? But but I'm not being funny. Man have done them things like up in man in up in their twenty ones and twenty twos from Nietzsche's to Aston to play on radio. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I remember them days. Man have done them. Definitely past the FM days. Man have I done used to that. See them things there. Yeah, regular. man have done that. That's a smooth that's FM days and all that. I like, used to see them days. Them like, like I've seen snow outside and can't get a, can't get to the radio session and I've walked it, bro. Mm. I've walked yeah. five miles. I still loving it. Still loving it for the, the passion. Yeah, hundred percent. So I got into Wayne Irie sound. Yeah, new sensation. Okay, we got Wayne. We got Wayne sound. Irie still. I know the that. Godfather, the Godfather. You know, the first sound I ever played in my life. The Godfather give me a little boss. Mm. New sensation. Yo, from Wayne Irie, seen that I knew the music. <laughs> Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Wayne Irie would have left me with the sound and gone about in business. Yeah. And me, I run that. Yeah. Me, I run that. We ain't contact anybody. My love, new sensation. We did love we and we and so on. But now, like, Godfather, big up yourself. But that's where I put my foot in. So now I'm in Borsalif amongst the drug dealers, amongst the pimps. Yeah. 
amongst the undesirables. Yeah. I'm amongst everybody that wants to be somebody then as well. Because yeah. not just because undesirables, man that will take your things, man that will rob your car, man that will... You understand what I'm saying, Yeah, Jack? yeah. Amongst the people them that are out there doing it too, dance hours, everybody, you know, in yeah. one. Remember, this was Shubin, you know. Everything's in one. Prostitutes are in there. Yeah. Prostitutes don't go dance no more. The only ones them that go dance is the one them that look rich. Yeah. The one them that are selling it in Dubai. Yeah. Them yeah, ones yeah. go dance. Yeah. But yeah. remember, said so back in the day, Shubin was everybody in one. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Chigalos, yeah, yeah. Bombok, everything in a one. I'm from that area. New sensation sound. Give me that whole scenario there now where. Um, where I got to know everybody, all Rastas in Antwerp. Mm -hmm. I knew all the Rastas. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. From your your, your Limvos mm -hmm. to, to yeah, big up Limvo to to all the Rastas in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying, yeah? Um, your Bobbies, all the Rasta them, well. your Genera, Exi, Exidos, Genera, Bobby, Exidos, yeah. Exidos, yeah. Island Big Man, them man. Yeah. yeah, that's one. When place was running sweet with Bobby Boa Diaz and all them man the Diaz, mm -hmm. back in the day, like man, I said, yeah. Ricky Chu's 47. Like, when I was amongst them, man, I was 15, 16, and 17 mm -hmm. when I seen them working mm -hmm. and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. You had man out here that used to keep dance, Rambo, Bogles. Mm -hmm. Sacco. 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 Yeah, you had, you had all them man store. there that was out there doing their thing. Mm -hmm. You had big man, um, big man, um, Clive, you had all these big men that used to keep dance. Yeah. Glenn, you had Glenn yeah, used you to had keep Ampton Road and Crampton Road. You had Ampton Road, Crampton Road, you had Lime Grove. Yeah. I remember my mum used to go to them, man. I remember I used to be a little hearing her saying these things. Like Barcy, we're going you here, have some man where I watch this now. Them weren't allowed to go Lime Grove. Mm. Some man where I watch this right now, me not like, me just say it to Some man where I watch this right now, feel them in a Ricky Chulian. Them time they meet in a lime grove, I go like I done. Them in a them bed. I piss up them bed. You understand me? I said yeah, to you. Yeah. So it's just the levels of how it goes, bro. Car. Mm. I was always that, you know. Remember, everybody must remember as well. From a guy that can just run away, like, I never had a stepmom. I never had a mum. I never had a dad. I had a stepmom and stepdad. I was unruly. I was doing my thing. Mm. When the people when the when the big man them hear me lock on. In a anywhere, Tasha's front line, Lime Grove, Bushes, nobody know what here, nobody else. It was just Ricky, Licker Ricky. Cause yeah. them time I was called Licker Ricky. Yeah. Yeah, Bunty Killer sing song about me in a new sensation dub. Come on, years that is. Yeah. Missy Killer, Missy Bunty Killer repost it mm. and said Licker Ricky. Them time me a Licker Ricky. Mm. Mm. Now me a, now me a big man. Yeah. Got you a big tragedy. Yeah. All right. And yeah, we're going to get to all that, man. So you're doing your thing then now, yeah? Wayne Iris introduced you. A new sensation. So, yeah. Mash up the place and them thing there, sir. What year was that around? Jeez. Was that in the 90s? Yeah, yeah. Definitely the 90s. Definitely the 90s, because I built Nuisance. I built Apocalypse Sound in 1999. All right, then. So is that where we move on from there now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, we don't move on from there yet, because from New Sensation Sound, New Sensation Sound, I went and I went and, I went went and and took over a sound in Nietzsche. It was called Hardway Mortal. Okay. Which come and ran the place. I have to take off my glasses when I said this. Mm. <laughs> because you see when, yeah. you see when I went over Nietzsche's, mm-hmm, yeah, mm. and the man them and the gal them and the bad man them and the gun man them and the this man them. Mm. Everybody says, Ricky, you can't go over there and do that job. Mm. Nobody's not having it. Mm. That's like a prime minister job. Yeah, can't remember. Nietzsche's on his toes like a different. It's a different world. It's a different it's a place. Different world, man. Yeah, but yeah, I never yeah, went over. Long time. I never went over Nietzsche's. Them times and Nietzsche was bad as well. I never went over Nietzsche's just to play sound. Mm. I went over Nietzsche's to run the town. Yeah. <laughs> And I took my glasses off, say like I'm 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 a ho I'm humble enough to say I ran the town, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. nobody can't say Rick didn't run that place. There'll yeah. be bad mind to comment yeah. and bad. That it just be bad mind. Yeah, Because yeah, they yeah. know 
Rick was in there for a good 15 years, you know, I'm yeah. fucking locked it down. He done a lot, bro. Yeah. Do you get me? I done from, I done my own carnival in Nietzsche's, bro. Yeah. Different community base. I done everything. Not just road community base. I have to big up Gemini done. Yeah. yeah Definitely have to big up Gemini done. Yeah. Fud. You get me? I said to you, mm. Fred, I have to big up, I have to big up um, big man, the big man as well. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? To have to big them up. The whole of Gemini done. Yeah. Car. Them man did free me up away to an hard way mortal. Because with an 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 upper class. Mm. Some people don't remember these sounds, mm. bro. Mm. This was an upper class Richie Cool and a little white boy. Mm. And, and don't get it twisted, it's enough for the white boy them in Birmingham that's been in this dance or thing. Some on a bad. Mm. There's a next one called Cyril out yeah. there. For all the people them that are watching this. Um podcast and that in my generation to know mm -hmm. when them man they keep dancing I'm always laying them man. Yeah. Them dance they road block the marky block you know. Mm -hmm. You get me I said to you that was white boy about the place. Mm -hmm. You get me I said you had enough sound you had no generation. Mm -hmm. So you just go on in true billing up billing up billing up your name now. Billing up billing up link you with everybody like I said hardware mortal I took that sound and boss on man's head yeah. with it. Then took from some, there now, you move to yeah, what sound? Yeah, now, hear me now, I didn't even move from Hardway Martel because yeah. Hardway Martel now, I, I'm actually taking, I'm clashing sounds now with okay. Hardway Martel. Okay. Like now we're sitting down, spending money, buying dub plates and clashing sounds. Okay. Like one of the last clash I had over there with Hardway Martel was Exterminator sound. Them man are in Jamaica now. Um, Brocky and Icky, when everybody hears when Red Ricky started the sound, and I was saying, fucking hell, Ricky remembers them things. Of course, remember them things, Supremes? Mm. Biggest one of the biggest sound clash mm. over Supremes, Exterminator, Hardway Martel, boss up there, Bumba Clark, you know. Mm. A man said we couldn't do it. Yeah. Been there, done that, yeah. come back again. Yeah. After that, I says I need to go bigger now. Yeah. Gun and built a sound name, Apocalypse. Mad with yeah. Now, I remember Apocalypse sound. Bumba Clark. This is where, Carl, you see all the stuff you're talking about before. I kind of, like I said, I'm younger than you, and yes, so I'm like ten years younger. That's than why you. I respect so, you. I respect you calling me to give me the flowers. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, though. come on, man. So, so what you're talking about before there? I kind of remember it. Look, remember I'm liquor to my mind. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. see now when you're talking about apocalypse sound <laughs> yeah. now, this is where I remember now. Yeah, when, when now I remember the apocalypse now. Yeah, so I've gone and sat in Jamaica for a big bit. Big up Jaxi. Yeah, big up Jaxi. Big up Bog. Yeah, big up Bog. Big up well. Rizla. Yeah, them man there. Rizla got a food shop now on Bearwood High Street. Yeah, got Mo Jams. Before yeah. he used to have that, he used to have a food shop in Kingsley. Before he does that, them man they used to do all he putting. Mm. That's the, f I think. I think that's the second person to ever. Let me say the second, the second person to ever buy me a ticket. Fly me guard Jamaica. I'm a sit down in the man yard on a Saint Elizabeth. That's why I know Knoxwood, Burn Savannah, Junction, I know Art um, Treasure Beach. Mm. Enough people say Ricky come on and people said hear about these things. Yo, I've been these places. Listen, we're gonna get into that. Don't worry. You get what I'm saying? Don't I've worry been to about these that. Places. So say so if you build up apocalypse sound now and you're mashing up the place. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're doing your thing, but there's a there, 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 there's an era, bro, where this is where I I I I don't know if you remember, but this is where I be around, you know. Okay. Through certain people, mutual people that we know. Okay. I'm on the inside now, so I'm seeing. So there's like there's even one certain little shoe beans that man used to have up current shot. You used to make man go up there. You used to make man run the door. That 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 was. Remember, that, you used to make man. So we used to take it in turns. That was, that was drive out turns. So, like. yeah, so there's so there's so there's so there's so there's, so there's, there's, there's 15, man, yeah? Mm. Every man gets that like half an hour on the door. The people are coming and paying their money to get you, yeah? And a man brought me there, you know, and I made that money. And I said, what, man? And I said, yeah, Ricky, true. That. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to you? I used to so, enough people. So, so, so how do you transition into that? Because trust me, brother, the sound thing is doing the sound thing. But then there's a stage where there's an era like, Weddy Wednesday, all phones he remembers, white pearl days. Or there's a stage fam where I was even reasoning with a man, um, Last night, Kyle was talking about the podcast and he's my future guest and I mentioned your name and he's saying, yo, it's a my man. There's a stage when you, if you couldn't have a dance. And, and if, you have a, if you have a dance and mum's not on the fly, you dance empty. Simple. If it's not on the fly. Simple. That's just like not going around it now. 
That's like some DJs now. If you don't have them on your fly, it's not gonna make yeah, sense. Yeah, because yeah, Ewok yeah, one, you yeah. see back in the day, you had to have Ricky too. Yeah. I remember you know, bro, you have a million man around here that I got sound. Yeah. And them sound man can only switch against Ricky Two because Ricky Two's getting a booking by himself. Yeah. And collecting that one wages. So, so how did that transition from that now? From the sounds, cause when you the sounds you with man it. So then you just, so you just, you just Ricky True now. No, because Ewok one. Apocalypse, I love them to bits. Nah, I love of course, it's, not, no, it's, it's, not, no, it's, to, not. it's 2023 now. We've got over everything. Yeah. But me and them fucking ward out this, bro. Okay. Me and so them ward out this, bro. <laughs> me and them okay. ward out this. Them man that said I couldn't play around the town and that. I had to make them know about bad people. Me alone's bad people. Remember, I don't need three man to be bad, you know. If I'm saying I'm coming out, I'm coming oh, out. Oh, so when you've decided to part ways When now, I've started to decide to part way. ways, it was beer badness. Okay, yeah, badness. But here we go on. You see badness, bro. Mm, see, mm. Too, I've been through every state. Mm-hmm. You know, like, can't imagine if this was America. Ricky Chu's done gone through every state. Yeah. I've been through Nietzsche's. I've been through Adler. I've been through Newtown, Aston, um, Lazell's, Highgate, every Bumble Club, Mosley. You understand what I'm saying? To yeah. every wash with the yeah. remember, to me start over, over Alan Rock. Who don't know a blood clot me from every Muslim to every black man no, to every black man. to every black man that turn Muslim now? Yeah. Everybody knows Ricky True. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So I weren't having it. Remember next thing you know, Apocalypse big up themselves. They was vexed with me because certain things and certain issues. Like I says, I went to Jamaica, I probably spent about hundred thousand pounds for them in hundred in pound. In pound. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine when I went yard, I live like not even I live better than Khalid. Yeah. Khalid never had money. Nah, that nah, that's, that's our next thing. Cause we talk about yard before. It's our next thing. Khalid weren't even in Jamaica during that thing, time. That's, that's our next thing. What our show is to what Northman show me say, yo, Rick is the first man to bring Northman a yard. I've been bringing man to yard enough time. From I've been early though. From early, from early. Northman's first time in yard was yeah. when Ricky brought them. Yeah, Northman's first time in yard was when I brought them. But like I says, at the end of the day, bro. You see a man move, met that step, and now you're happy for everybody. Mm. Bro, let me tell you something. I could have come out of my crash, bro, and been bitter. I'm not a bitter guy, bro. Yeah. Right now, I see everybody doing their thing, and I'm saying, oh, God, it's the best thing. Can't remember, you know, brother, and I don't care what anybody says. After what I've been through, I've had God's hand in my hand, bro. Mm. And, yo, when he shoved my, my hand, I know for a fact that means, you see who we down here on the ground with now, mm-hmm. who we grounded with. Mm-hmm. Yo, you see, when we reach up to heaven, bro, mm-hmm. Whether if we reach up to heaven, because mm-hmm. that's the thing about it is, you know, if we can try and be as good as we can now, that might be the little repenting what God give us and said, come. Mm. If you carry on to be that wicked little pussy all, you know, the devil's just going to drag you, son. No, come on. So here we are going now. If we can do that little something and reach up into heaven, the whole of us are going to see each other. The whole of us are going to see each other's face, bro. All right. And so on that note now. So you're Ricky Tree at this time now. You're Ricky Tree. You're everywhere. I'm yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that. There's nobody. Yeah, that. You're the done. I'm team, everywhere. The only way that wouldn't accept me, bro. The only place that wouldn't accept me at the time was the city center town. Yeah. Because gunman thing. Yeah. Police thing. Yeah. Gunman thing. Yeah. Police thing. Yeah. I ain't got nothing else to say yeah. apart from that, bro. Yeah. Because that's all people was pushing yeah. on me. Ricky Tree uh, and yeah. Ricky Tree's gonna come with Burger Bar. Ricky Tree's gonna come all with right that then. crew. Or Ricky so that being said. There was, there's a, there's obviously there is a stage here yeah, where now I wouldn't say like the DJ team declines for you because yeah. you're still a bad DJ. Yeah, now. Yeah, I've seen yeah, you yeah, day, yeah, you yeah. still mash up the place. Yeah. But it's like you just you kind of moved away from that, and it's like it's like you was getting a lot of hate. Yeah, you see the hate the from hate, people. The hate came because the hate came because of me, bro. No, the yeah. hate never comes because yeah, of no other reason. Yeah. I, I'm just being truthful. No, go on, talk, man. This when is the reason, bro. When you're, at, when you're arrogant, bro, yeah. when you're an arrogant person and don't really give a shit, yeah. and at the end of the day, not going to beg nobody, nothing, yeah. you're just going to carry on and do your everyday thing, bro. Yeah. You understand me? Not really caring yeah. about people. Because that's the whole point of being arrogant. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. caring about people's about feelings. Yeah, 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 but I realise that's not the way to live, bro. Yeah. You have to care about people's yeah. feelings in everything that you do, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me stop you there. Let me, let, me, let me say something right now as you're saying this. You see that what you're saying there, fam? That's proper, you know. Because you know what people don't do? People like to blame other people. 
all the time. Yeah, I'm not blaming nobody. So you see when I ask them kind of questions there, it's because I know I'm on the same kind of thing what you're on. Yeah. I'm on a thing where, you see, even if someone does me wrong, this is how take deep I take it. If someone does me wrong, I don't even blame them. No, I blame myself because I say, hey, what? I probably seen something before where I knew I shouldn't even make this pussy all be around me no more. Yeah. And I still make, I'm a fool. Yeah, I'm or, not, I'm not, I'm not blaming nobody. Yeah, Anything yeah. for my actions yeah. is Ricky Chu's actions. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah. You can't reach yeah. up into my age yeah. now and be blaming anything oh, like right, anybody. Then. And on yeah. that note, Ricky, now nah, on that note, we're not even going to touch upon that too much because that's just negativity. So we're not yeah. going to, with us, with us, get in yeah. the car. You know, say so yeah. people are going to say, ah, oh, what about that? So, all right, cool then. So, the DJing thing, you kind of take a step back car, the limelight thing and people yeah. and rare. So, here, what now? Top taste now. You get me? Because Top Taste year was when Top Taste, I was around for when Top Taste first could open. Yeah, big I'm, up Angie, big up George, big up yeah. the, and everybody, big up Sasha, big up Ty, yeah, big up the whole family, girls, everybody. Up, yeah, I was there. The I'm talking when the first yeah. land, I'm an original Dudley Road man. Can't tell yeah. my furniture, you can't tell me nothing. Yeah. I was there, man. And Top Taste was proper and it used to do its thing. And then obviously, I don't know what happened to everybody. It locked, closed down for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, it's open again. Yeah. And you're there? Yeah. Because you are going now. The business been there for a long time. Yeah. Long, long time. And 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 it's like, um, it's like what it is, the business wasn't going to lock. So because the business wasn't going to lock, yeah. we just thought, transition it to Angie's daughter. Yeah. Simple. Which is Sasha. So obviously everybody know me and Sasha have been together for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Sasha. Yeah, big up Sasha, 100%. Um, some people out there have a, in life, and I have to say this because I've been watching a lot of things on Monday, and a lot of people that have got businesses and this and that. Like a lot of people out there got a love-hate relationship. I, I've always been for years, and I think it's more now since the car crash. I think me and Sasha just got a love-love relationship. Yeah. And I've realised that because now... And another thing, a lot of us men are pussy mm-hmm. because it took me to crash then. Yeah, wait, let's stop, Ricky. Let me stop you there, please. Because we're going to get into that. Yeah. We're going to... But I need to say this, but it took me to crash to realise that I have a good woman, bro. No, nah, yeah. Because yeah. before, I used to live in the streets. Yeah. I used to be called in the streets. Everybody yeah. knows that. Yeah. Ricky yeah. True in yeah. the streets. In the streets, man. Liver yeah. Road. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? To, like... Dipping out, I probably bought a bed, but I didn't know where the bed was. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, course, That's course, how I used to live. Of course. So, 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 at the end of the day, carry on. So, top taste. Yeah. So, you've built. So, what inspired you to take on top taste yeah. now? Inspired me now. Yeah. I just thought because something I didn't even know you different. Could cook. Something, I didn't know, yeah. yeah, but at the time when I took on the shop, I couldn't cook. Okay. I was me. I was. I was trying a thing. So here we are going now. I knew for a fact, I'm going to do this for a year. Yeah. I'm guiding the shop. I said, I'm going to do this for a year. Yeah. So I'm going to put, I'm going to get 50 bags in my pocket. Yeah. You know how it goes. Come on, man. Um, I've done set my goal already. So I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna done set yeah. my goal already. Um, I'm going to want 50 bags in my pocket quickly this year. Mm. And I'm going to get it at the shop. And that's it. Around me and Sash going to run the shop. So boom, going in the shop first. Yeah, I probably got about 36 bags in cash. Mm. And then I was like, fuck you now. He didn't, I was like, oh, I was only going to do a year. All right, do one more year. Mm-hmm. Do one more year. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying, Jack? Mm-hmm. And then that's done again. The next year has gone good again. Do one more year. Mm-hmm. Then that year has gone good again. Do one more year. But then you got people saying, Rick, enough man with a lockdown long time. You know, you've done more than two mm-hmm. years. You've done three years. Enough black man tech business and God. Mm-hmm. All right, fuck you now. You like gassing me now. All right, do one more year. So then I've hit five years. Yeah. Then I've hit 10 years. Yeah. I'm at 11 years now. See, proper. And big up Kane as well, your son, Chef Kane. Yeah, Kane's Just the man as Kane was in there at stage as well. Yeah. And he brought a twist to it, you yeah. know, with the burgers and the wings yeah. and the henny wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, remember, yeah. And even, remember yeah, time. Joint, joints came to the thing about, say, 2017. Yeah, when I got lock up. And yeah. that was well. One thing I have to tell you, shake my hand, because you said I was in prison. Yeah. One thing my baby mother's always telling me, like you see, anytime you see my ute, you hail up my ute and give my ute 20 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I'll go on the next thing as well. Feature. But that's, that's not just, that's, 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 that's yeah. you. But I do that 
to at least a hundred people and a hundred people's kids. Yeah, because at the end of the day, bro, I've been locked up many times mm-hmm. and I've I've done a lot of Christmases in prison. Mm-hmm. So I know what it's like to be out here and got one youth out here mm-hmm. or got two youth. Mm-hmm. And if that youth sees your your daddy's bridging, you can give him a little 20 pound or something. Mm-hmm. It hurt my heart, you know, because for you to sell that just because I'm actually going to say that I've had enough little brethrens in the streets and enough little brethrens mm. that when I've been locked up, they've never mm. done that for my youth. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust but me. it makes it clean, more cleaner for me to do mm. that for people around. Oh, man. Yeah. And sometimes people that I don't even know, I just know that the baby mother comes in my shop, the dad's not in the situation at the moment. Yeah. Simple as that. And if we can do something to ease up them buying that two food now, yeah. and now they can do something with £20, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? To yeah. car, £20 can't kill us, bro. You understand what I'm saying? So we, yeah, we, we, we want about a million 20 pounds, but one 20 pound can do something, bro. Mm. Couple 20 pounds can do something. Mm, come on, man. You get what I'm saying? No, so some men are out there flossing every day, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So their next door neighbors hungry. hungry. Their baby mothers oh, hungry. The you ain't got nothing in the cupboard, mm. but they don't business. Remember what Garnet said, you know? If your neighbor come begging you something, yeah. don't say no, I'll come tomorrow. Give it now, now while you can. While you can. Yeah. Because oh, at this site, there, man, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Enough man will bond me out because I say, I wonder if Rick's bond, bond, but I'm not bonding out nobody more time. I'm just saying, like, if 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 you can give a girl something, you can buy your kids, like, them, you, can buy your you can buy your girl, you can buy your baby mother. Out, you can buy your baby on, mother a bag of shopping. Yeah, of course, man. And you can buy your baby mother a bag of Even shopping. If you don't chat to her, you can just do it. Bro, bro if you don't, everyone's eating. Bro, you know if you mean? don't deal with your baby mother and you got three kids in the house, you got imagine some man are bright, you know, mm. say I don't deal with my baby mother, but you got three kids. Mm. You went up in her pum pum, three bomber <laughs> clock time, and now you're gonna talk about she disrespectful. You don't deal with her and that and mm. for your bumble clock gain. Yeah. Not for nobody else's gain, bro. Yeah. This is called the reasoning. Not for nobody else's gain. So man, I got three kids in the house. Been there for ten years. Gun caught for three years. Mm. Now the woman must stay there by herself. Don't even get a little blood clot, a bit of cocky. Mm. I know that's not what it's about, mm. but. The man them expect the woman them now for stay by themselves, mm. unless if them don't yeah, stay by if <laughs> if them don't stay by themselves, if them yeah, don't stay by themselves, <laughs> yeah. them don't see the kids, yeah, yeah, them yeah, don't yeah. are that all that. So it's yeah. it's like it's it's playing with people brains, yeah, 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 man, like, and yeah, then yeah. on top of it, guess who's brain you playing with the kids them nobody else is. For some reason that's to get them somewhere. That's 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 all it is. You playing with the kids them brain. It's the reasoning. So, so yeah, man, Rick. So. All right, now we're gonna get a bit. We're gonna we're gonna take it there. So now, the, the accident now. So, obviously, this is even for me. This is a car. I wasn't there. Mm. Remember, I'm locked up these times. Yeah, I just heard. Yeah. When I, if you remember when I come out and I seen you in a wheelchair, I remember you fell down. I think I'm like, bro, yeah. like what? Remember you've come around and seen me in a wheelchair. Fuck, me. When you've gone, when you've gone in, in prison. You no, fucking Dudley Road, you see me on that. Dudley Road. So I'm the man. So break down the day for me from the beginning. Like what happened? Okay, the day happened like this. Daughter, in, a, in a brief, like my, a, you know, my daughter's. Now I'd love to tell the people them. Yeah, yeah. Enough of them will think it's some junky, junky yeah, business. Yeah. So I've left my daughter in bed. She's ten months old. Mm-hmm. I've got up about half eight in the morning. No, about sorry. I've got up about ten to eight in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember the morning like yesterday, jumped in the shower, boom, ran down the stairs, boom, grabbed my keys, boom, jumped in the car, says I'm going to the shop to get some bits and bobs and that, yeah, quickly, cook some things quickly, boom, don't know what I'm to do, mm-hmm. done everything I'm to do, my next chef's coming into the shop for nine o'clock, TK, yeah, big up TK, so, um, gone in the shop. It's about it's about five to nine yeah. in the morning. So boom, TK's in there. I've said, "Yo, my daughter's time." Mm-hmm. And my daughter's only ten months old. I want to get home to her. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I smell her and all them something to mm-hmm. play with her air. Mm-hmm. And you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was happy to be a father. Cause remember, I was I was forty two. Yeah, I was forty one going on forty two. Obviously, you got Kane and you got 
Farah, Miss La Familia, yeah, yeah, big up you them as well. Can definitely. You, you with them at the big things out yeah. in the world. Yo, so my, big them up. You yo, understand? Like them father. You understand? Yo, so. My blood's rich. Yeah, man. Everybody see what my blood happens with. Mm. Uh, things happen for Fui blood. Mm. Fui blood are royal blood. Anna Charles, them blood are royal blood. Yeah. Fui <laughs> blood, them are royal blood. Car, you understand me? Yeah. For them, you them now nah, do nothing. Yeah. For them, you, you inherit money. Yeah. You know, see them all, I do nothing. Yeah. And share it too. And Come on, man. We get real royal youths. So man. big up to everybody we have on, youths where I do things as well. So yeah, me? so back to the um, day now. So yeah, so. So boom, I'm, I've left. I'm at the shop, night, five to nine. Mm-hmm. I remember my chef saying to me, yo, I remember it like yesterday. Mm. I remember my chef saying, say, yo, they all the reason I'm going to ask with. He says, nah. I remember the morning. Mm. I says, nah. I says, nah, I'm getting back to my daughter. Mm. Furthermore, it's nine o'clock, you know. Mm. I'm like, I'm a man like this in my brain. I'm thinking, you want me and you to bonus me for you're done late already. Mm. Right now, God, that's our idea. I'm just being true. You're not bro. saying nothing, but in your head, that's yeah, what you're thinking. I, I, I know I, what you're saying. I've done yeah. told him this one. Yeah. We had him spoke about yeah. this already. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and that body knows me right now. It's work time, bro. Mm. You get me? So hear me now. I've said, left it round on the corner for me. Yeah. Guys, herbs, any. I was like, left it round on there. I know when I come in the afternoon, it's Dessa for me. Uh, anyway, says, all right, I'm cutting, cut out the shop. I'm parked on the, um, I'm parked right outside the shop on the pavement, you know, as we do. Yeah. You get what I say? We don't yeah. use road like that. One man outside, you know, <laughs> you from the ends, if you're on Dudley Road, we don't, I don't use Any shop like you're that. going to, right even if you're going, going to any of them cars, any of them, so, you park yeah, up yeah. and you're just, you know how the team Parked yeah. right yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. So boom, pulled off from there. Mind you, you know, remember, you know, Nado, where I am, you know. Mm. Yeah, I've pulled off from there. I've gone to where Talk of the Town is now. Yeah. And took left. Yeah. See, when I've Rotten gone left, Road. Rotten Park Road, gone to the top of Rotten Park Road yeah. and took right. Onto City Road. Onto City Road. You see, as I've come past the bus stop there, yeah. I don't remember nothing else. I remember waking up in the hospital. And then after waking up in the hospital, I remember like this big shadow over me. Like I can't even say a shadow because when when I when I when I when I when I crashed, I didn't know I crashed because like you've just said to me, explain the whole day. So and I've just give you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go on. When I crashed, I never knew I crashed. Okay. So now when I've crashed. I'm conscious of what's going on, but I'm in a coma. Yeah. But the coma's got me floating over places, bro. Like, people think I'm mad when I say this right yeah. now, you know. Yeah. The, the coma's got me floating over places. Yeah. Like, I'm in dances and that. Yeah. In this coma. Yeah. I mean, I could see things in this coma, like, things that's going to reach me mm-hmm. and things that's reached me already mm-hmm. in this coma. You see, within about, I don't know how long I was in the coma for mm. at that time. But you see, by that time, I felt, I've, I felt a hand grab me, bro. Okay. I felt a hand grab me. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I don't, at this time, I don't know I've crashed, bro. I yeah, don't know yeah. where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I felt a hand grab me. Yeah. And you see, when the hands grab me and I've looked up and I've seen the light, yeah. I've seen the, the hand throw it back. And you see, if I'm my hand throw back, mm. I woke up in the hospital. Mm. I just come out of this coma business. Yeah. The nurse said that was saying, "Is my daughter? Was my daughter in the car? Was my daughter in the car? Was my daughter in the car?" I don't know why I was saying that because at that time in the morning, I wouldn't take my daughter out in the car anyway. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying, Jack? Yeah. But me being conscious, knowing, I'm just thinking to myself, I just had her with me. Yeah. Do you get me? So the nurses and that, like, was saying, calm down. Like so you kind of woke up in a panic kind of thing. I woke then. up in a panic, yeah. I got up, I come out of that coma in a panic because I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. But even so, I was floating over places, bro. Bro, I seen some things that you wouldn't believe. Mm. Like, I seen some things, bro. Mm. God told me to leg us some man. Yeah. I had to leg us some man, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and it was the right thing that he'd done and showed me mm-hmm. because 
I was in a vulnerable situation at the time, yeah. being the entertainer that I am, yeah. and being so openly, open-handed like this yeah. to everybody. You understand what I'm saying, Dad? Yeah. yeah. And I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So, and because I'm not taking bullet and gun to fight my corner, they're going to take me for a pussy hole. You understand me? I said to you, but if I was actually walking with bullet and gun and showing them this, they wouldn't take me for that pussy hole because yeah. I know who these people are. All right, man. You understand what I'm saying to you? So, and I'm not going to do that for anybody because yeah. when I'm doing that 10 and 15 years for that, yeah, nobody's going to bumble clock, take Atlantis to school. When I, when I crashed, bro, there was beer threats. Everything was sent around on social media. They said that Ricky will never walk again and never take his daughter to school yeah. in their life. Now, I'm, picky, I'm taking her up. I'm taking her to school and I'm dropping her, picking her up after school club. Yeah. She don't even want her mum to do it no more. It's yeah. be a dad, you're going to pick me up. Yeah. Dad, you're going to drop me in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And I, why would I say no? So, so you see, um, when, when you first woke up now, yeah, yeah. what was your first thoughts? My first thoughts was, I didn't know because I didn't know my situation. I didn't know how serious it was. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. So, you see when I pulled back the, you see when I pulled back the, um, all the um, sheets yeah. and looked down on my foot and seen that I had no feet. Okay. See when the I seen I'm that they were I seen that were hanging so, off. That's what I'm trying to say. So the realization now that yo, I mean, like I'm in, I'm in some shit here, bro. Like my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feet, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. I cried. I cried for ages, bro. Not as I can do. It. Yeah, yeah, of if, course. If bro. I wasn't, if if I never cry, if I never, if I'm gonna sit in there and lie, bro, no, no, I so cried for it's ages, it's bro. Real, like, it's a real like, I rock cried, like, yeah, now I, come on, that's normal. Yeah, yeah, I feel emotional now talking yeah, yeah, about that, it. Like, not normal? Because I went, it's I went real, on the road bro. with my feet, bro. It's real, ran bro. down the stairs, like, your feet, bro. You need your feet, bro. It's not no yeah. game. But it was, um, yeah, it was very, very, very yeah. touching to me, bro. Nah, man, it's serious, bro. Like, he couldn't sink in. I could imagine, bro. That, but I can't imagine because I wouldn't yeah. know, but. They kept me in the I hospital. Just, you know. They kept me in the, they kept me in the hospital for nine weeks straight. Yeah. Nine weeks. They wanted to even keep me for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Mm. And they weren't having it. Yeah. I just took myself out of the hospital that time. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I thought to myself, it took me nine weeks to realise that I was alive. Yeah. It took me nine weeks to get yeah. in my brain. Yeah. Rick, you're alive. Yeah. And if you're going to dead, you're going to dead anyway. And you've done yeah. blood clot, been through the most. Yeah. So right now, go out, it's Christmas, have a drink and a smoke. Yeah. And fucking it, so what? Yeah. Nobody can't piss. Nobody yeah, can't be yeah, bad minding me for yeah, that. Yeah. I was in hospital for nine weeks, and on, on Christmas Eve, I turned around and I said, "I'm not staying here tonight." Yeah. And they done everything to keep me in the hospital, and I said, "I'm not staying here tonight." Yeah. There's no fucking way I'm staying here tonight. Yeah. No way, like not a ras. I'm going to smoke and I'm going to drink, and then I'll come back on Monday. So, the road to recovery now, because it's 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 it's, it's, it's so when you first went back home, yeah, what was it like for you? Because obviously you're not gonna come back on the road straight away. Well, when I went back home, I just was at home. I couldn't do nothing. Yeah, I I was bed bound. Yeah, Sasha used to have to wash me. Yeah, feed me. Yeah. change me. See, um, yeah. um, bed. I remember I had to be bed washed because I See. couldn't move. You got Sasha. I couldn't man. get. I couldn't get around. Yeah. Um, if I needed to do do, she'd deal with it and wipe me up. See, I had to do got, everything like the risk, real, and, real, and because, real, real because of the tablets that I was taking and the injections I was on every injection you can think of yeah. I was on about 27 different medication um, yeah I was on about 27 different medication injections and all that and like she'd give me my injections that she mm -hmm. didn't want to do because at no, the end of, of the day not Sash, Sasha's not a person that's going to take in and um, inject me and all that. So she had to get into all of that first. But remember, the injection goes in the bottom of your belly. Yeah, yeah. And all these things. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. Um, we had to learn all... We had to get with all of this. It was going on for months and months and months. Um, going on for ages. Like, I just trying to... I was trying to get myself stronger because I know for a fact I can see that my woman alone's doing everything, mm -hmm. taking out the bins. Mm -hmm. Washing so up. the manly stuff, what a man would do. You're not feeling like a man no more now, because not in a bad way. Yeah. Because obviously you can't do nothing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I know you saying you want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't I want to do sit down in the yard, yeah. no woman. You just go and do your thing and take yeah. that and you take the use of school. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not you saying. I'm not you yeah, saying. Because I'm, I'm not you saying. I'm that person. Your hands like, on in it, so yeah. That's yeah, how it goes. Come on, like, you're a real man in it. So that's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. So, all right then. 
tablets now. They, they, they gave me every tablet you can think of. And then the tablets backfired on me now because it made me start thinking and watching out of the windows and being the person that's not Rick. Because if you notice, a lot of black men walk up and down the streets every day. You might think they're a crackhead, but some of them are not crackheads. On the so medication. Some of these brother. people are on the medication. Yeah, they're on the and medication. Couldn't get, couldn't get, yeah. couldn't get back certain medication. Now some man have ended up on crack. Yeah. Some man have ended up on bees. Some people have to look and think, oh, well, Ricky was strong-minded because he never touched none of them things. Well, I true. never touched none of them things. But at the end of the day, what if I wasn't strong-minded yeah. and the doctors wasn't giving me back my prescription that what they was giving me yeah. do you get what i'm saying to you? so i have to you have to think about them people as well it's hard like i says i have to almost put my hat up for sasha because she looked at me one day and says what the fuck is going on what are you doing and i'm just there sitting in my wheelchair looking out the window yeah. but at that time i got birds at the back of my house oh, yeah. so i'm naming the birds like that one's called gb that was it. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, I, I can yeah. laugh and joke nah, now. but that's what it was. Wasn't but it? Yeah, what yeah. it was at the time, he was going through it. Right? If 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 I never if I never had somebody to pull me back and say, "Yo, what are you doing? This isn't you." Yeah, you get what I'm saying, Jack? And yeah, it's like I was so happy. Like I was so happy to get pulled back because. I was pulled back within a couple of days. Yeah. Because otherwise than that, if I wasn't pulled back, yeah. guess what would have happened? Guess what would have happened? The whole place would have mashed up. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? To like, yeah. I would have just turned mad. You wouldn't have heard of Ricky True English no more. You know, like Ricky True in Bellevue. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? To mm -hmm. Ricky True in Bellevue mm -hmm. or something like that. Or because that's where it was heading. Like, I, I, I actually sat down and thought to myself, you're mad. I got fucking woman and I got daughter and that to look after. Get yourself together. And that's what I've done. Get myself together. Kept watching my daughter. Kept watching my woman and saying, you're mad. My woman, my daughter's nice and pretty. Nice, little, intelligent girl. She's five now. Do you get what I'm saying to my woman? A hot, sexy girl. Did me want next man run off with that? Me just a look and I, and I think to myself, what the fuck are you doing, Rick? Sort yourself out. Get yourself together. Come on. That's what I've done. Got myself Be together. Be got myself together. Be and the next thing as well, the next thing as well, I just got active. Yeah. Like every, I got active like, um, I just got active like, I made sure I come out the house every morning when it opened the shop. If you like realise, four years that Ricky Chu, four years that Ricky Chu was in a wheelchair, you like did not ever, ever, ever see me down or the shop's not old more. Ricky Chu's always on Dudley Road. Yeah. Remember that. For the nah, four years that now. I've been in a wheelchair, Ricky Chu was active. Nah, hear what now? This is what we're going to get to now. Because, fam, I've landed out the can now and I've watched you, bro. I've watched you in a wheelchair, my brother. Can't walk. Like, Top Taste was doing well. But then you took it to, like, a next level, fam. But in your wheelchair, bro. I used to see you in a taxi on Instagram, five in the morning, going to the meat place and all that. And wait, te, 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 te. But it's like, bro, it's like you're walking, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You're just doing everything. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I just got it in. Because guess what? At one time, you see, like I said, after getting over the, after getting over that, I'm in the wheelchair, bro. I have to get over it first. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't nobody set the wheelchair thing light. We got everybody that's in a wheelchair. I got most more mm -hmm. I got so much respect for yours. A hundred percent I got fear respect for everybody that's in a wheelchair. Like I know about I know about probably about two hundred wheelchair people right now. And that's true with networking, you get me, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got so much respect for them because there's not a lot out there for wheelchair people. Mm -hmm. Because if you go to a shop, you have to. If you can't get out of that wheelchair, you have to ask somebody to get something for you. Nah, of course, of course, of course. Like Fids, come in, Fids talk about that still. Big up Fids still. Yeah, but you see, I, I got so much respect for them, man, there. Mm -hmm. Because to be in that wheelchair situation, and Fids is, Fids is in that wheelchair situation where he's got a lot of people around him that can do a lot for him. Yeah. 
So he don't have to rise up to grab that if he don't want to. Yeah. But he wants to because he's that kind of he guy. Does, like, he does, yeah, he's yeah. like that guy. Like, yeah, yeah. You understand me? He's not that guy that's going to ask a man to nah, do nah, that nah, for nah, me. Very, very, very good. He's going to do his thing. I don't ask nobody to yeah. do nothing, bro. Now, I've seen you, bro. The way I, you, I have to take my hat off to you and come in here and give you flowers. Like, I give you flowers for the music. I'm giving you flowers for the food truck, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, you was... Do- Skits, obviously C4's not here today. Skits around the camera. I like Skits. Obviously, Steven Skits is nothing said. I'm telling you, like, he was out there, bro. Like, I was shocked to see this. Boom, just up and down the road. And you got your same Ricky spirit and energy. Yeah, I've, like, you have to have that because at the end of the day, like I says, that little energy and that spirit nearly went. Mm-hmm. But that's because of, that was because of a medical situation. Yeah. And I keep needing to tell everybody. This is why I've come up with my thing called therapy. Because I need everybody to understand. Yeah. Stop looking down on people out of road that you don't know their situation. Some people's situation could be medical. Mm-hmm. Because I nearly led to that road yeah. where I bounced back and got back myself yeah. to Ricky True. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. To where my old man used to look at me and say, I know you and I'm Ricky True. And Ray Ray, I was like, yeah. come on, babes, we're going to do this. Yeah. And she's always saying, come on, we're back soon. Hey man, she's saying, even, up, she's saying, she's even, she's even if she's it's, she's saying, even if it's five years from now, if it's 10 years from now, we've got our life. Mm-hmm. So that's where I, I never, I, I, I never ever give up on myself. Hey man, big you up, man. Enough time man. I've, enough time I've turned around and said to God, like, Jan, oh God, time to take me off your strongest soldier list now. <laughs> but I'm mean to myself, no, st- keep me on your strongest soldier list. I'm yeah. all right, that's all. Yeah. You understand me? So anything yeah, what you want, though. Cause if you see it fit to keep me there, you yeah, see it fit to, to keep be. me there. Yeah, man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because okay. right now, bro, right now, bro, I'm telling you, you see, for the last three, four days, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a right hand side of my leg. Like, either a muscle or something strained, it's giving me the most pain from before, even like the crash. Give me so much pain. But guess what? It was either me hold the pain, lie down in my bed, or be active. Mm-hmm. I've done, I've worked, I've cooked this morning, I've worked this morning, picked up my daughter from yeah. school, and I've done a lot today already, and I'm here at the podcast. Yeah, man, I mean, we respect, we respect you for coming, bro. You mad, bro, saying no jokes. Yeah, of course. Me, I appreciate it, man. It's like, no, you get me? It's been a good interview, you get me? So, yeah, man, it's, this is proper thing. So, yeah, so, you're doing your thing, and... I see, I see on Instagram, and you want to walk again, and you, 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 you know, and you, you starting to get into the God now, and all this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I yeah. see, yeah, you get me, and yeah. little things, and yeah, you know, and then my brother, your mum's somebody that's prayed for me a couple there, of times. There. Stand up, stand, stand, stand up, stand up, stand up. So if you can, let the people there. Just, just quickly, stand up, then let the people there. Yeah, huh? yeah. Huh? Mad. Nice huh? All right then, yeah. No, just to so show the a, people. Then. I do a lot of things. And I'm, I'm, I'm back active again, and I can lift up my legs and go with myself. And yeah, it's it took me, it took me four years to get here. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying, Jack? Yeah. But another thing as well, if you don't believe that you're gonna get here, yeah, just you believe. Yeah. No, believe. believe just keep anything. believe that you're gonna yeah. get here. Yeah. If you don't believe that you're gonna get here, keep believing, and. Like I says, for the people that are in a wheelchair and that can't come out of a wheelchair, you understand what I'm saying? To just keep your brain active. That's all you have to do. And 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 as I said, I've been in a wheelchair for four years, so I oh, I always put it like us wheelchair people because mm. I'm still like I'm still that us wheelchair people. We're very very feisty, and we're very very determined, and we very very want to do it ourselves. If you're giving us a hand, give us a hand. But you see the hand that you're giving us? Make sure it's with a good heart. You, you understand what I'm saying, yeah, Come on, man. This yeah. is why. I'm not being funny. I look at um, the wheelchair people and think to myself, Jan, oh, man. Like, couldn't God just get them all up out of this? But yeah. he don't go like that. No. Nah. You understand me? What life don't, ru- you, life don't run like that. Yeah. What's for you is for you. Yeah. And the situation I got in, God slowed me down. Yeah. Because, as everybody knows, God slowed, slowed down Ricky True. Yeah. Uh, that guy, the arrogant hype, too much shopping salvages. Uh, I, I, I'm, that guy, that fucking Ricky True geezer, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You understand me, car? Remember, you'd have nothing of them say that little pussy hole, you know. Mm-hmm. Rare, 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 and boom, bam, bam. But they're only saying that because they don't know me. Mm-hmm. You understand me? You can really judge somebody and don't know their inside and how they power and how they move yeah. and how they do their thing every day, mm-hmm. how they get up. Like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying, Jack? Yeah, yeah, I respect yeah. a man that gets up out of his bed every morning and go and feed his kids. Yeah. I respect the man and that do their D D D D P D their six o'clock in the morning jobs. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, ever yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're all I respect the man and that get up at six in the morning and go out and make a job, go out and bust a living for their kids and that. I don't rate them man, they're not, not doing nothing for their youths and that and not elevating their pitney them. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? To you? you can't walk town and buy you can't walk town and buy this black band in town. For yourself and don't buy it for your son or your daughter. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying give them everything, but I'm saying you can't buy a puma and don't buy a puma for your son and your daughter. No, of course. You get what I'm saying? To you can't look after Katie. You can't look after Katie because some men are looking after Katie, you know, yeah. and not looking after yeah, their yeah, baby. Yeah, that's silly. Yeah. That don't make sense. No, can't do that. You understand me? Some men are buying our gal nude boots, but yet still can't buy baby boots. Still. That don't make sense, brother. So that's why it's liberty car. As we talk, we drift and we're talking to certain things because these are the things that it leads to. It's life mm-hmm. and liberty. Yeah. And, you know, like I says, Ricky Chu crashed. But I used to live too much for the streets and the road. Mm-hmm. So not because I crashed in the morning. God, God made it a reason why I crashed. Mm-hmm. So I no, say, so, yo, some nights there, your yard... Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying to you? Some night you need for gone away. Jano, no me catch a little feeling. No me catch a little feeling for go a party, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have to contemplate whether I forgot. Because I've been there and I've done so that near though. Yeah. It's not like me plan, me rush for God. Me not plan for God no more. Mm-hmm. It's not planning for God. Yeah, when you yeah, plan yeah, for God, you got a tongue, got the shopping yeah. and this. And yeah, you got yeah. this. You just land, so we do we, now, we just land because we have a wardrobe, we can pick up clothes, we can. Normal, yeah. All right, then. So, simple. here, what now? So, we move on to Caribbean and cocktails because you know, so from there, you open up a shop. And obviously, he's talking about my mother earlier. Yeah, because I seen your mum come to Caribbean and cocktails mm. and give me some serious prayers. But before Caribbean and cocktails, your mum been coming to um, Dudley Road and giving me them prayers when you was locked up. Mm. You understand what I'm saying, Dad? Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. your mum's always had that connection with me. Yeah, hundred percent. Cause and you know the next thing, the reason why your mum's had that connection with me, because that's just Winston Green, Bitter Creek, Ladywood, mm. hands were all the mums, mm. all of the mothers, mm. all of the mother them. Mm. Because it's how Ricky Chu's persona is. Mm. And I ain't gonna see none of them without greeting and without a hug. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, man. So uh, that's how I see, like, your mother's my mother. Yeah, come on, man. You understand we what got, I'm saying, yeah. 100%. I'm going to take whatever to the car. I'm going to get a youth yeah. to take it to the car for her. Yeah. I'm like that. Mm. Every Everybody's... I have people from Senkits. Grandmother called me, that's 95. Mm. Just turned 90 the other day. The clock is... Clark is grandmother them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see them putting her up right there. Yeah, yeah, she calls the family, me. They, they, they she like she calls me from Senkits and asks me... Ricky, okay. Mm. Because the love that you put out. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Come on, and man. I do that with my community and I love my community. So, Caribbean and cocktails then. That's so, so here we are going, Caribbean and cocktails. I've kind of, as you've, as probably everybody knows, I've kind of eased it off for the last mm. couple of weeks because it got a bit too much for me. Mm. So, when I mean got a bit too much for me, you came then a couple of times. Yeah, no, it's so, proper. So the I brought a man that's probably about a grand. I brought a man down there. Remember, I brought the London. Yeah, and I big up all chinks, the big up dudes. chinks always. Yeah. I brought down chinks and then, man, big up beads and that. The man has had about four bills in a place. Yeah, yeah, one definitely. Time. Nah, nah, you've made, you've made at least £1,400 spending that place yeah. at least, bro. <laughs> but what I was going to say is, now, what it is with the place, as you can see, my place is, it was small. Yes. Yeah, so what I'm doing now, I'm getting a bigger place. Yeah. We're, going, yeah. we stay, we're still going to be, we're still going to be in B14. Because and you was busy, bro. Oh my God. It, it, it was not like people, you need to understand it, people, it was busy. It was ram, it was ram all the time, yeah, especially yeah. when somebody wants an event. So what I'm doing, I'm still get, building up that clientele and on September, yeah. We're going for September. We're opening yeah. back over in B14 in King's Eve in September. All so right, just look yeah. out for Caribbean and Cocktails. All right. There it is. And it was such a buzz. Yeah. It was just a buzz. Yeah, it was it was a mad buzz. Like mad. another thing as well, for me to be off the road for four years to know that I can come back with anything. Yeah. I can just come back with 
anything oh, yeah. and the people that are going to support yeah. me as long as it's not rubbish so Cause people don't support rubbish that's just what we're doing, you understand man. what i'm saying to you? and as a big man in my age now i'm not out there to put out rubbish i've been cooking food for years bro mm. i'm not being funny all of these kitchens all of these caribbean restaurants everybody mm. that you see doing their food they've been eating at my shop for 11 years mm. when i took over top taste 11 years ago mm. there was none of these names you, heard. you never heard none of these names so here we are going, everybody used to gather up by my shop and eat at my shop. I'm not mentioning no names. I mean everybody. That's cool, that's so cool. big up everybody. Big up, everybody. Big up all of the restaurant them, all of the Caribbean food shop them. Yeah. Big up to all of the all, every all of the pop-ups. Big up everybody. Just remember, say eleven years ago. What was you doing eleven years ago? Remember Ricky Chu was running down the road and everybody was coming for the upsell rice and peas. Everybody was eating from me. Even if them never know me cook cook everybody was coming to me oh, because it's the no. gas what you put a road you know all right yeah i remember i'm the original fireman yeah, gas man on. so we're gonna finish up now so mm -hmm. before we finish here yeah, therapy therapy Th therapy Thunderclad. therapy everybody needs therapy bro mm. some girls need some girls need therapy which is beauty therapy but i'm not talking about beauty therapy right now mm. i'm talking about therapy mm. car some man need therapy. Mm. So is that how you get your dance with the cards? That's what I'm trying to get onto the brand now. Because yeah. that's the brand. Therapy, right? yeah, therapy yeah, yeah, definitely. The therapy bars. Dance them and... Yeah. Get me, so you got more of them dancers coming. Yeah, I got one and two little things coming up right now. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I got a different kind of dance coming on 27th of August. That's going to be in City Centre, Portrait. But um, you see, therapy. Mm. Therapy is a thing like this, you know. Everybody needs therapy. And Ricky Chu's mm. been playing that in Birmingham. 30 odd years. Mm. I'm 47. I've been playing that in Birmingham since I've been like 14, 15. Mm. You understand what I'm saying, Jack? Yeah. So I've done my stint. Mm. So if you check it out, go, whoever's watching this now, go and have a look. You see, for the last last couple months mm -hmm. that Ricky Chews, everybody's saying Ricky Chews back around. I've played so much dances. Yeah. I've been made beer money on dances. Yeah. But... You see the man them that who was there with me mm -hmm. 30 years ago. Where is everybody? That's why you did a card as the last man standing, you know. Because mm -hmm. I don't you see one and two man on TikTok. Big up Godfather we and Harry. Mm -hmm. When Harry is over TikTok. You get what I'm saying, to? But here we go on, and then you got you got big John them. But where's everybody else, bro? Mm -hmm. I'm still here after 30 years on all flyers. I'm on social media. Yo, they must be thinking, the peace when they must be seeing. All these young people posting Ricky Chu after all these years. Car, man like me, dead out. Oh, man. But here what now? On that note, we're going to leave it there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say the last man standing. Last man standing. You understand? Therapy bars. Therapy bars. Therapy. You get me? So, yeah, Ricky. Good. Yeah. It was nice having you. Yeah, fam. respect, Trust bro. Me. Proper. The reasoning. Reasoning. There it is. You understand? People, them. Another episode done. This was the reasoning. I'm your host, Rasnado. Ricky Chew there. We got skits behind the camera. C4 ain't about today. Big up C, same way. Gone. This is the reasoning. Come have a reason. This is the reasoning. Let's have a reason. This is the reasoning. Come have a reason. This is the reasoning. Let's have a reason.